Hi everybody, I'm Rob Anderson and I have to confess before we even start, this is a silly video. Silly because of the results that I show you. But out of curiosity, I thought that I'd show you what people search for. Well, no, let's rephrase this. Which of the large chain stores are searched for when in relation to dog food? Okay, so let's get straight into it. So when people look up... Uh, keywords online right so give me a sec for this to wake up there we go so when, when they look for keywords related to dog food uh i i went and did a, i've created a, a, a dog keyword category search package that i've got for people and and i've done it to help people that in the dog food industry uh know where to target their their search where to target their content all of that okay so um quite a lot of the keywords came up with with uh the big box stores or the big stores chain stores uh, in the search and so i created a category for that and it was pretty interesting so a couple of comments let's go straight through it so walmart's the most searched for uh, with twenty seven thousand one hundred things they obviously dog food at walmart was the keyword and they got twenty seven thousand searches more or less pet smart was in at number two but only literally almost a third of that also dog food at pet smart um, they ca came in at number two. Uh, so interesting. And then Amazon at number three. And, and here, uh, similar keyword search. And they're obviously only online. But that's 6,600 searches a month. So again, that's now a, a fifth. Six, five. So yeah, just a, well, maybe not quite a fifth. But yeah. So interesting. And, and then after that, it's Costco. Petco, Woolworths, Kmart. But check this out. By the time you get down to Woolworths, they only had a single mention, and that was for 210 searches a month. So uh, it, it tells me this. <laughs> Sorry. I probably shouldn't say this out loud on, on a video. But it tells me that people that shop at Woolworths um, have a slightly higher mental uh, cognitive capacity, meaning... They know that Woolworths have got dog food or they haven't. They don't need to go <laughs> search for it. Oh my goodness, I'm going to get into trouble. So, yeah. So what did we learn from this? Turns out that Walmart uh, people uh, own dogs and they don't have a clue if dog, <laughs> dog food is in Walmart. But so jokes aside, sorry, my, sorry guys, I, I must behave. So it told me that the, the big box stores, right? So they don't actually promote dog food. What happens is people are taught to search for things because of what they see. Um, you know, it's a bit like uh, social media teaches us new words and we then, you know, kind of things like 24-7. Well, hello, I don't know, that's been around for, I've got no idea, 20 years. But before that, there was no such thing as 24-7. Oh yeah, no, we, we've been at it 24-7. So equally, if the big brands of dog foods promoted themselves in connection to a store, which I can understand why they don't, because then, you know, how many must they keep listing before they, well, you know, before the, the guy number 20 says, hey, you didn't include me and I sell X amount of tons of your dog food. So, so I can understand that. That's fair enough. Um, but here's one of the best parts. The first search related to price was best cheap dog food at Walmart. And that only got 390 searches for for, for that month. And, and that was pretty impressive that that wasn't, uh, that, that people aren't, it, it's not about price. Whereas obviously in, in this economy of, of, the, of the world that we're living in, price is important, but people also, uh, or, or other keywords like, um, you know, grain free and those were equally, well, even more prominent, obviously. So, <laughs> so I'm back to making jokes this time in writing. So I've said you would think that those 50,000 people that search for dog food uh, online, they would know that those three and, and all of them have got dog food. Yeah, so PetSmart, seriously, um, and Amazon, Walmart, yeah. But And then my last comment is that even though I created the package and it's something you can purchase from me, the keyword packages, if you're in the dog food or dog treat business, um, it's, it's, it's just a passing interest 
of those keywords that would give uh, somebody who was planning to market, uh, well, uh, unless it were Walmart themselves. So Walmart could take advantage of all of those it, because in the keyword numbers, Walmart were mentioned many, many dozens of times in the beginning. In fact, give me a sec, see if I can drag it over for you and drop it in here and show you. Uh, so all I got out of it was, I say it's enough, uh, 84 keywords, right? And if you look, so Walmart first two, three, oh, sorry, my bad, two, and then here and there again and again. So best dog food Walmart, grain-free dog food Walmart, so uh, it probably would pay only these few, the big guys, uh, to actively target those keywords because if people are searching for them, well, you want to make sure that, that you know, you, you're the one that they click on. Simple as that. So, well, that was it. It was, it was fun for me to, to, go, to, to create this and, and check the numbers out. And, and yeah, appreciate this. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. Bye.